Hello everyone, it's me Chase shooting back in another video and today we are here with my friend Zachary and here we are. We made a winter lodge. Well he did most of the work, but the re your this is looks like a normal winter lodge, right? So we're gonna have we're gonna come over here. Oh well, I almost So when you enter, you just oh oh what what's happening? What's happening? You're brought into this chamber. You have to, the way to avoid this is, wait, those are normally up. So this just looks like a chamber, right? This is a little trap, but on this other side, you have a bunch of stuff. So, my friend, my friend Zachary is right here, as I said. And I have these three things I can do to them. I haven't put signs on them yet, but... The first one that I could do is torture him with potions. Now he is given instant damage and uh, poison. And all the redstone is actually very easy. And just so you know, all uh, all credit given to uh, a YouTuber, Bucket Planks, for teaching me how to do this trap. So, and anyways, if they have milk, I they and have fire resistance because I also have a lava trap. I'm gonna turn that off because I don't want him to die from it. So just jump on a trap door. Open a trap door and jump on it real quick. All gone. Yeah, good idea. And then, so now come go, go down, go down, go down from there. So now let's. Even if you if even if he was up there, this would still affect him. But that was the third trap, the most painful one. This is also painful for me too. So as you hear, it spawns a bunch of zombies if the arrows don't kill them. So, but as you see, we have like, yep, and I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, just set it to painful and then set it to easy. Not hard. Okay. So I'm gonna show them the house real quick. So we have a little water elevator to get up and into the torture room from the person that's torturing. So right here we do have a little slime block thing. I taught him how to. Oh, uh, my friend Zachary did it. And I taught him how to make it, but it, like he also he made the interior of this house. He is a really good builder. He's much better builder than me and. I have to give him a lot of credit for this house and everything, like, just look how great this place looks. Like, really. So, now, I'm just gonna, we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you guys what it would really look like if not, if both of us didn't fall in there, because we both fell in there, and I just flew out, so, but I also want to show you this, um, this is credits to EY Stream for uh, to, uh, helping me to build this, the, well, to build uh, this thing. He gave me a tutorial, and I'm very happy of it because I've done this a few times. But Brandon, the r so there is a way to avoid it. Is go like that. Wait for that, and then. But right here we have a key card scanner. So let's just let's say I just put in. Oops. Me to do that, I put in a, re a regular item. It will open. Just kidding. So now here, if we come here, take out that oak button, and put in a key card, then it will come. And you press that button, and it will open it up. What I like to do is come right here, well, open it up right here, and come right here. And oops, I messed up. So come right here, and. Uh, up right there as I said and then you take the key card from there which it wasn't letting me for some reason then you just walk through that door so that's that's it's kind of complicated but the way to get to your key card back was my idea um, see. I don't think this house is well lit up there's a flipping skeleton in here so pretty much I was making the chamber of torture well and the key card scanner well these, um, my two helpers, Vibani and Zachary, were, um, uh, you know, building this place, like, as, as 
you know, like, it has... Oh, I thought that was someone, completely someone else, but... But the way this redstone works is... This is also... I also was making the chamber torture entrance, which is... That one right there to get out from the thing when you're in creative, because... We, when we are doing construction, that's gonna... That's gonna go bye-bye, though. So, it has this tick delay so that and this was no tutorial like this uh entrance it has a tick delay so that they when they and then there's a block right here that sl that pushes them back and makes them fall into the trap the way to avoid this is i'm gonna, just gonna fix this real quick the way to avoid it is going right here and go right here wait for it to close and then walk right through i think i've already showed you that though so now it's time for torture. So, for me to get tortured, of course, it has to be me. Because he already did it. So, I'm gonna show him where to go real quick, because he still doesn't know. Well, he knows, but I just want him to. So, go right here. And just, nope, don't go in yet. Don't go in yet. Don't, 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 get it. don't go in yet. I'll tell you when to go in. But normally this would be completely based on luck when we'd go down there. But it, it also gives us a signal that someone is in the chamber of torture. So only if we're not home, we won't torture you. But it's not fully secured yet. But let's just pretend I'm trying to rob this house and I come down here. It's just... I only have diamond boots. Okay, now come down. Come down. Um, um, so normally these would be up well the trap doors would be up as I said but now we wait to get tortured so see they come d you come down the stairs would you say that again <laughs> oh my god okay don't don't do that right away come on turn it off too please so that would I don't have to, don't, don't, don't let it, so. Sorry, man, I don't know what, what to switch. Don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so that's that, and now, it's, uh, I'm gonna, just real quick, post this video, and then I'm gonna head to, uh, making an, a roleplay video. Thank you, guys. Goodbye.